How's it going, my good friend? SirTech20 here, and I'm hoping that this is actually showing up right. Uh, I spent like 25 minutes getting NVIDIA, or uh, not NVIDIA's, but MSI Afterburners OSD to show up on screen right here. Hopefully, you guys can see that. That way, you guys can see the scaling that I myself get. But <clears throat> I'm currently running to 980 TL, or 980 TLIs, 980 TIs, like I have been for a while. And like most people, I'd usually get the issue where I'd launch this game up, and for me, it would show the black screen, so I'd have to Alt-Enter, then the game would appear in windowed mode. And once you actually got into this part, at least what I myself would do is go to the video, and it would be like that. So, I would select windowed mode, or windowed full screen, apply that, let that apply, then I'd go full screen, apply that. Then what I would do is I'd quit the game, and then relaunch it. And then for me, it wouldn't do the whole black screen shit, and it would come up like it's supposed to, and just to go and quickly show you guys what I have for my uh, graphical mm -hmm. settings. Everything's on max. Everything. Fairly certain none of this other stuff can be put any higher. But yeah, these two right here I don't like, so I've disabled them. But yeah, that's pretty much what my graphic settings are. Now I'm going to go ahead and load into the game. So you guys can see what kind of usage I get between the two GPUs and SLI. Is if I just, after the blank or black screen shows up and you alt enter, at least for me anyway. A lot of people try their luck in the dark zone. Not a lot of people come out. Get out of here. That way I can actually hear myself talk. You are now entering a safe area. After I do the. Warning. Now we're exiting the safe area. Okay. And after I do the whole alt enter, then put it in Windows full screen, then full screen mode. Only one GPU would be being used, so then I'd have to quit the game and then load it back up. But as you can see, it's not the most perfect scaling, but it's much better than what I'd usually get, which is like 85% on one GPU, then like maybe 10 to 15% on another, so... It's... It does, it does pretty decent. It's obviously not perfect scaling between the two, but it's much better than what I'd usually get. I would do the benchmark thing, but it's... To me, it's not really representative of exactly what you're going to get in the game most of the time because you're going to likely do much more random shit than what the benchmark does. Yes, I know about main missions. But as you can see, the, the scaling is it's pretty damn good. At least to me, it is anyway. It's usually between five, and, well, between five and eight percent with uh, of each other. So I'll go ahead and get rid of these bitches. If I don't kill you, your commies will shut the fuck up. Get out of cover, bro. Thank you. Where's that? Oh. But as I said, it's not perfect, but it's much better than what I was getting before. That's pretty much all that there is to the way that I myself get SLI to work better, so. With that, I hope that you guys were able to get SLI working for your video or for your game if you guys did let me know in the comments below or if you had to do a few extra steps let me know what those are maybe I can improve this a bit more um temperatures for me right now uh 57 and 1 GPU 59 on the other so it's not too bad but I do thank you guys for watching I'd appreciate the thumbs up if this helped you guys out any because th this game does have some bugginess and when it has some bugs usually SLI just doesn't work at all for anybody so, yeah, again, let me know if this helped you guys out in the comment section below. And with that being said, I will go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Peace.